Hello everyone, today's verse of the day is 1 Corinthians 2, 9. However it is, is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love Him. As I look at just the beauty of the nature and, and all the trees and all these things moving, just think, what awaits us in heaven is incomparable to what we see here. And not only that, God says that there will be a new heaven and a new earth, new space, new matter. He said the old heaven and old earth will be rolled up like a scroll. And we can't even imagine it. All of our art, all of our things, that our imaginations that we try and do within this realm is based upon something that we see in reality. The desire to fly is based upon birds. The... <laughs> Anything that we see, any dream that you have is based upon this reality. But God's saying that the next reality is going to be so incredible that we can't even imagine. It's not even fathomable. And to me, that, that as I know God's not a liar, and I know he's extremely creative with what he's just done here, I can only imagine. Me and my son we were driving down the road the other day and we saw the light. There, there was clouds over the, the, the highway and there was a storm. It was the afternoon and the light hit the trees so perfect that everything seemed to glow. And what I thought about was how the mundane of things, the most plainness of skies, even though as complex as it is, the most plainness of skies make us appreciate the the more elaborate of skies, the more elaborate lighting and stuff. But I can only imagine what God has in store for us. It also says in Romans 8, 18, he says, for I consider, and this is Paul, he says, for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits eager, longing to revealing of the sons of God. Paul knew too. That whatever it is to, to be revealed to us. Is way more incredible than what he's already done. And I can't wait to see that. Something I didn't notice even until editing this, this part of video. When it says for the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. The creation longs to be revealed to us. Jesus said he goes to prepare a place for us. Whatever it is, the Lord has taken his time. He has spent a lot of time in the creation of this new heaven and this new earth is longing to be revealed to us. It cannot wait. So whatever it is, whatever we cannot imagine, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Lord, just thank you. Thank you for bringing us into this world. Thank you for giving us life. You really blessed us with something. We didn't have to exist at all. And it's a gift, Father. It's a gift that you've done. Let us always remember as we go through each, each day that it's just good to exist and to be able to see your presence and be able to see the sunsets. This is all worth it in the end. No matter what suffering we are going through, it will always be worth it in the end, especially upon eternity with the magnificence that you have planned for us. Thank you, Father. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.